Well, back here in Central Texas, a Cedar Park company is one step closer to reaching the moon. Firefly Aerospace says its Blue Ghost Lunar Lander has passed rigorous environmental testing. It's a space transportation company that builds rockets and landers. They have facilities right here in the Austin area. KBU's Daniel Perot is live at the Firefly facility in Cedar Park. And Daniel, they're preparing to send that lunar lander into space early next year. That lander is currently here at this facility in Cedar Park. Next month, it'll make its way down to Cape Canaveral in Florida. Then, sometime mid-January, it's expected to launch into space on the back of a SpaceX rocket before separating and heading off to the moon to collect data. Before it's cleared for takeoff, engineers at Firefly Aerospace are going over the Blue Ghost Lunar Lander, ensuring it's ready for its journey. Just a lot of verification processes and verifying against requirements and testing. Annie Vo Cohen is an engineer and flight director on the mission. It's incredible to be here. The lander soared through environmental testing this fall in California. That means that we are getting shaken up like we would during launch. The tests replicate the harsh conditions of the journey to the moon with temperature, vibration, and acoustics. So that we can be uh, confident in our system and our, our lander to make sure that she could survive the journey to, to the moon. It will take 45 days to get to the moon. Once it lands, Firefly's Blue Ghost will spend 14 days conducting experiments, collecting samples, and capturing data during lunar sunset. They're going to be doing science and delivering that data back to NASA for future manned and unmanned missions. What this nation wants to do is to be able to establish a near permanent presence at the moon. The mission is part of NASA's initiative to deliver tech and other science equipment to the moon. So these are all trying to prove that we can go there. The space industry is booming in the Lone Star State, from SpaceX to Blue Origin and now a lunar lander. University of Texas professor Marithi Akella says the area is attractive to space companies because of the supply of engineering students and access to technology, manufacturing, and capital. And a lot of that is really uh, a catalyst for many of these uh, technology accelerations that we are seeing. That entire operation of the mission from the launch to the landing will be controlled from this building behind me here in Cedar Park. They're also preparing for another mission to the moon with NASA slated right now for sometime in 2026. In Cedar Park, Daniel Perot, KVU News.